Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. We're at six wins, I think it's time to throw in a little lost action here. Obviously, we are going to be starting with the D4, YR8KZQ7C. We have not, haha, lost a lost run in a little while. We've probably won three or four in a row, um, but they haven't been in a row, so to speak. You know, they've been interspersed between Eden runs. I like them. Keeping the keeping the pressure on here. Ooh, you know what? I think is the lost. You take experimental treatment. Uh, it gives you a huge speed downgrade and apparently makes your damage shitty as well. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, but it does take you closer to spun. So instead of like the 50% gamble that it's going to be good, 50% gamble that it's going to be bad. I think it's, you know, 50% that's going to be good, 50% that it's going to be bad. But it's better than a 50-50 deal that it's going to be good for you long term because of the fact that you can get... Um, you can get a, a little synergistic benefit out of it. Now, I will say that I'm pretty super not thrilled with the way that experimental treatment worked out with us to start. Although, I do think our rate of fire has increased proportionally um, to our damage going down. So, our DPS might have been relatively unaffected, which is sweet. Our speed being low is a real problem, though. Really hoping for... I mean, I hate to say it because it's begging, but like an all stats upgrade here would be awesome. Any DPS would be secondary. Range plus luck is just okay. But we're going to head down to the next floor. What's up, Ruka? How's it going, cat? You flowing? Man, I'd like to place my hands upon your fucking sexy cat and squeeze. And squeeze. This is horrible. This room is this room's not going to be any fun for us. What's the secret here? Don't ever look him in the eye. Don't ever let him see a sweat. Shoop the whoop, shoop the whoop, no shoop the whoop. That's okay. We finally got bombs, which is something. Uh, what's in this boss trap room? Yeah, that's usually pretty good. I will um, put some effort into getting a teleport card if possible. Or a teleport item for that matter would also be fine. I would like to get as many of those items or, you know, golden chests in there as is conceivable. I don't want to sound like I'm despondent about our run's chances. Really, the chance of succeeding on our run pretty much comes down to what our first deal with the devil has. And then if that's shit, well, how long can we survive until, you know, we can afford for a deal with the devil to show up that's actually good. Which is a sentence that, now that I'm running it back through my head, how long can we survive until we can afford a deal with the devil that we have to be good? Doesn't really make any sense. How long can we survive uh, without getting a good deal with the devil, and uh, does a good deal with the devil ever exist on our run? If so, um, all we gotta do is survive until point X. Otherwise, it's gonna be a little, little tricky. I'm feeling you, you pop those tinted rocks in the hopes of getting a small rock. Our item room contains $3 bill, which is potentially horrible. But I, I take it, because who dares wins. And also, occasionally you're going to end up picking up a triple shot uh, Death's Touch on a room. So, some value contained inherently there. Golden chest? Red chest. Cursed die. You know, we are the lost. We are, we are. The lost of the nation. So, I feel like Cursed die is the lost is basically... Um, it's it's just like a shitty kind of monstro's lung, which doesn't necessarily make it bad. Oh, we got proptosis here. Hilariously, our proptosis damage is really really bad. I think it's proptosis anyway. It seems like when we hit an enemy, the shots get smaller. Well, damn. Are we going to? Are we going to do anything here? I mean, we can't. Hey, we can go to our shop, buy something. There could be a teleport card in there. I can't believe you would do me in the dirtiest of all possible ways with a haunt fight here. We did have Death's Touch temporarily. That's been replaced with something that's not Death's Touch and is such substantially worse. What's the secret here? Don't ever get close enough to see yourself sweat. Don't ever let him see that you're seeing him seeing you sweat. Don't ever let him sing, girl, I'm gonna make you sweat. Sweat till you can't sweat no more. And if you cry, I'm gonna do it some more. We did, we made it. We got magic eight ball, please give me a good card. Decent. And then a free guppy's tail. This provides us with almost no benefit. <laughs> okay. Well, what do we do? Um, 
I don't know, I think you go into that golden chest room and swing for the fucking fences, Tony. Who's Tony? Well, this is a song about a superhero named Tony. It's called Tony's Theme. I don't give a shit, man. I'm immune. Once. <laughs> and then immediately more vulnerable than any character in the game. Okay, this one's free to open, so let's crack that. Rewind it back. I sure got the shit that make your booty go smack. We should, we should open two chests in this room and then save one key because we get two of diamonds into an item we actually want from the shop. Might seem like that's not that impressive. And it's not really that impressive. Uh, but it could be very important if we're able to get like a blue candle or a red candle or something along those lines, you know? Or even just a champion belt. Like anything that provides us with a reliable damage upgrade. Instead of our incredibly unreliable $3 bill upgrades, which can be amazing or horrible. No key there, but a lot of money. Uh, and a battery charge is at least okay. Justice, maybe? Hoi me. Well, we can save a key, ride a cowboy there, then. Um, Pandora's box is best to take down. And, you know, the D4 is fine, but we're probably thinking we don't want that that much anymore. Where do you pop the D4, then? Or sorry, where do you pop uh, Pandora's box? Do you just use it immediately on the next floor and hope for the best? Or do you try to hold it for, you know, the cathedral? I know the, the fun answer, but what's the answer that actually gives us a chance of survival? Still, like, relatively weak here. Maybe you don't even pop two of diamonds or take Pandora's box here. Maybe you just do that. You buy a bomb, or sorry, you buy a key so you're safe on the next floor, and uh, just head down, keep D4, and save your uh, save your two of diamonds for an item that actually fucking respects you, girl. Pandora's box doesn't respect you. Hmm. I do wish to attend this curse room. I hate this right now. Give me some some form of piercing shot, please. This dude, like, would not aggro down to the next, uh, like, down vertically. He was coming in right from the top the whole time. That's what we're looking for right there. Okay. Problem solved. Good, good shit, but also, like, whoa, that was scary. Okay. What do we want? Give me, uh, item room goat head. Item room goat head. Finance the rest of my, the rest of my run, please. Rest of my run, living in a movie. Hot damn, Santa's little cutie. Goathead gives you infinite deals with the devil. Goathead. Now, I mean, we gotta kill him. Take advantage of the excellent uh, tear effects we get occasionally here. There you go. You whittled them down. We got a shop. I don't think we invest in the shop immediately. We need one more key because I can go to our item room instead. Do we go to the boss fight immediately? In general, I do think that that's probably the best strategy as the lost. Hope that it's not too horrible. We have one bomb. And uh, a preternatural ability to wait things out until we get the tier effect we actually want. Let's do it. Gertie J. Various tier effects will be very helpful here. For example, Mysterious Liquid. Sure, of course, Death's Touch. If you just want to give me Death's Touch, we can avoid this whole awkward, you know, middle school romance, will they or won't they song and dance kind of bullshit here. That's up to you, though. Oh, that's a good one. That's the good one right there. We've done it. Okay. Deal with the devil, please. Ah, Cat of Nine Tails is good, though. Okay. Oompa loompa doompa dee doo. How much longer can you survive? Northern Lion, there's a tradition. Western music has to rhyme. Well, I don't really want to open that. Secret room? Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit of money here, but do I really care? I don't know. Now, maybe we want to go to our shop. 22 cents does give us the ability to buy a key and an item. There might not be a key for sale, but, you know, it might be worth a check. There's no key for sale. Do we care about the map? I don't know. Do we care about Mom's purse? I don't know, okay? This is a whole lot of pressure here for one young man. 
There's not a... We don't have a lot going for us right now. I feel like Mom's Purse is a decent choice. Sure. Okay, at least we know Lemon Party exists. Mom's Purse is a decent choice because of uh, its ability to allow us to hold two good trinkets at the same time. Which is, like, literally what it says on the tin. But... Trinkets as the Lost can make a pretty meaningful difference. I mean, it allows us to hold on to a trinket that might have some mercurial benefit. You know, like, um... Like Broken Onk, you know? As a primary trinket, a 25% chance to come back to life after you die seems pretty shitty. But if you've got, um... If you got two slots and nothing's taking up your other slot, why not, man? We don't know this pill. I don't trust pills I don't know. That's just that's good practice in general, I feel. Oh, fuck. We lost our chance at the item room. Unless that red chest teleports us out. We got two keys, though. A world card. World card. Okay, more keys. And more money. We didn't get... We lost our two of diamonds card as well, but... Okay, try to teleport out. Speed down. That's a kiss of death, man. We're in a real tough spot. Yeah, that's bad. That speed downgrade's pretty terrible. One thing we could do, and this is becoming increasingly likely, uh... Why are we so fast now? And so slow now? <laughs> that's weird. Kill him. Everything must go. Um, it's inc becoming increasingly likely that this is actually like a functional outcome for us, is, um... What if we just D4 ourselves? I'd like to wait as long as is possible to do this, because Holy Mantle will be gone forever. But, we could D4 ourselves into a respawn item. We're in quite the puzzle box here. It's probably best to, and, and maybe even more likely to be successful, to just get speed upgrades. But our, our clock is going to run out here. There are enemies now that are faster than us. Oh man, a speed upgrade. So useful, thank you. Chariot is also basically like a save yourself from misery once card. Let's um, go to our shop, I suppose. Where we're, we're still really looking for like Red Candle. I'm not going to be too picky. But, but Red Candle will enable us to not be totally fucked. We should have a pretty good shot at a deal with the devil on this one as well. On this floor specifically. Okay, we'll take blue map. We'll take this. It's two of clubs. We got three bombs out of that. Not bad. Not amazing, but not bad. Uh, second secret rooms are, are fairly unlikely to be that amazing for us, but it is a map item. You know, it will allow us to see uh, with, with some confidence where our boss is liable to be. We got enough money to buy the nightlight if we want it. Ooh, and a one-up. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's good. If we reroll our run, the one-up should stay. Which is pretty valuable in its own right. Please. There we go. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that this is a net positive in a pretty big way right now. I hope I don't have to do that D4 play, man. I mean, in a way, I hope I do. Because if it actually works out, it would make me feel like I know what I'm doing in this video game. If it doesn't, though... I'm gonna look... I'm gonna, well, you know, not to crack a joke, but I'm gonna have egg on my face. To a pretty large degree, because I rerolled the item you want on every Lost run. The hilarious thing here is that, like, for as strange as this run is, we actually have an okay shot at Boss Rush. Which is not uh, typically too fucking likely when you're you're running this kind of damage that we've got right here. Um, I mean, Mysterious Liquid is definitely not the item we want to fight the Dark One with, but it's not bad. It is like a point three damage upgrade. Yet yeah, go into the fire. Okay, if you keep doing this, this is beautiful. We blew up Judgment, so we should have a great chance at a deal with the Devil. We got another Syringe, which is also a speed upgrade, which is huge. Oh, give me a Guppy item as well. Take me one closer to Spun. Nah. I was say, take me one closer to Spun, take me one closer to uh, Guppy. But one closer to Spun is good enough. 
Down to the next floor with two keys left. Necropolis XL. I'd say we have a very good chance at a deal with the devil now. I also have no idea why we have so much speed at the start of a floor and like none at the end. <laughs> it's like we have an inverse Taurus where we actually get slower as the floor goes on. Inside of our curse room. Lots of angry fires. But a pretty nice potential for teleportation cards. The Fool. That is a teleportation card. We will take it. I didn't get hit on this room. We can make it out. Should have used the chariot just in case, I guess. Luck up is great. Keep cranking on those luck upgrades. We're actually not that slow. Which is a, a new feeling for us here. This is, I would say, as of right now, probably the worst lost run that we've had out of that array of lost runs where we've won them all. Which is... Oh, we got continuum shots. Um, which is to say that it's not horrible. You know, horrible lost runs typically don't make it very far. In this town, anyway. But, uh... We, uh... We're starting to pull some momentum out of it where previously it looked fairly impossible. Yet another Tinted Rock disappoints me. Just kind of, you know, par for the course at this point. Get some confusion in there. Should be close to death. Could really use a piercing shot that doesn't, um... Oh, another luck upgrade. Could really use a piercing, a piercing shot that doesn't, um punish us for our knockback, so, I mean, that, that describes every piercing shot in the game to the best of my knowledge, but Cursed Eye has given us ridiculous knockback right now. Probably our shot speed maybe made it worse, I'm not sure. Bombs are key. Absolutely fine. Uh, we're not really using our bombs for too much. Tinted Rocks are less val valuable as a loss as they are on, you know, any other character in the game. Everyone wants... Oh, shit. Everyone wants the left hand. Or not the left hand. The small rock, of course. Not everybody wants the left hand, much to my chagrin. Dry baby. Good, but maybe not good enough on a room like this. Same with little Steven, which is worse. Strange Attractor is just horrible. Money equals power is potentially outrageously good for us. Now, I'd be lying if I said I didn't want that... Um, if I didn't want that two of diamonds back. However, this does give us uh, plus 1.2 damage right now, which is better than a small rock. And the more money we can get, and usually you do tend to stack it up towards the end of the game because you're not doing anything with it, uh, the better it becomes for us. One cent is not an appreciable uh, difference, but, you know, every nickel that you get, well, it's not totally true, but for the sake of argument, every nickel that you get it almost is uh, equivalent to the damage upgrade from a mysterious liquid. Nothing to sneeze at. Blow that guy up for a better deal with the angel chance, or so I've heard. Um, I don't want a deal with the angel. I want to deal with the devil so I can get high damage items, and deals with the devil are entirely free for me. As the loss, so we might as well. Um, well, we are definitely looking to get out of boss rush as well. And the, the fool card will allow us to do that. If we can get a good deal with the devil, which is debatable at best... Um, or questionable at best, and then maybe also get uh, a good item from Boss Rush. I think we got a great chance of actually having enough momentum to make this run work. Range down is relatively inconsequential. Four bombs for a speed upgrade is great. It's an XL floor, so we do have an item room hiding in here somewhere. We also have an invisible enemy, uh, which I hate. I you know, can't even describe how much that annoys me. The gas could be okay, but it's not likely to be amazing. Infamy, on the other hand, is is liable to be incredible. Very glad we got that. We can fight our first. In fact, we can fight both bosses right now if we want. Um, I just figured we'd take a look down here just in case you know we get sack dagger or something that makes the mom fight a little less stressful because it is going to be a bit of a it's going to be a bit of an annoyance. Mom fight is not an easy task on a lost run. Most of the time. Bob's Rotten Head, uh, I guess we'll pick up for the Bob transformation. But otherwise, not, uh, not too likely to benefit us here. We have no bombs. Don't get hit twice on this room. That would be extremely embarrassing. Okay, pop this right here. Two bombs and a key. Two bobs and a key? More No, it's not more like that. I'm sorry to inform you. Alright, well, I blew it up by accident with Harlequin Baby. More money. Have we been to our shop on this floor? No, no we have not. Oh my god, that would have been the worst if I walked into that fire after walking into something else. 
I would have had to quit Isaac for upwards of eight hours after that. Pill is ranged down. Not expecting an item room here, which means there definitely will not be an item room uh, down in the next room either, because it's... Oh, but there is a, a non-dead end. I didn't consider that. Bombs are key. I don't think so. Uh, I'm happy having this many keys. We do have uh, Guppy's Tail, so we're getting a lot of golden chests. Don't forget, that's how infamy exists here. Come back for that bomb. There's our shop. Okay, no greed. No greed. Uh, sure, take car battery. Even though we have money equals power. And then start blowing these fuckers up. I hate to do this. You know I love a good donation machine. And car battery does nothing for us right now. However, uh, by blowing this thing up, we're getting our, our damage back. Crack into this. Okay, we should really, really go to our boss fight. In fact, I may have fucked us and made it impossible to get uh, into our deal with the devil. Or not our deal with the devil, but our boss rush. I wouldn't be... Uh, I wouldn't be despondent over that. I would be unhappy. You know what? I don't really feel confident being on this room anymore. I kind of want to fool out. But the fool card is so valuable to get out of another room if something goes terribly wrong here. Or, well, okay, say goodbye to Boss Rush. Hold on to the fool card for now. But if this guy starts getting wise to your, to your game, you may want to rethink this. Our speed is not so bad that we, you know, can't outsmart this guy. But it's not so good that it's easy. He almost outsmarted me for a second there. I'm just waiting for my, my death's touch, man. Oh, Proptosis. It can hit. It can hit. So you're saying there's a chance. Oh, lucky us. Okay, we get Matchbook. That's why you don't want to take damage early on a room, man. You end up with that situation. You get hit against Mom, pop the fool. Easiest thing in the world. You can always go back for another card or something. Not gonna be the fastest mom's fight or mom fight you've ever seen. Hopefully not gonna be the slowest either. So the longer the fight takes, the more likely we are to take damage. I don't believe I've been hit yet. Triple shot with uh Oh now I've been hit. We gotta try. We're so close to the end. You gotta finish it. We did it! Okay. A little dicey. Take the Polaroid. Uh, we do have an item room awaiting us, so I do think you pop the Fool card anyway. Why even fight Mom at that moment? It's a total waste of the Fool card, man. But we do have an item room back here, somewhere. We gotta check it. And this is still, like, the worst run I've ever had that is... Well, maybe not ever, but the, the worst lost run in recent memory that's made it this far. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Yes. Yes, it is. Which one? Great question. Next question. Still trying to milk these golden chests for all we can get. We're lucky enough to be basically breaking even on them, key-wise. Oh, it was Polyphemus. It's incredible. Bob's brain. I will not touch this item. Polyphemus is really good for us. I still don't understand why some rooms we get a speed bonus. Let's head into our boss fight again. I'm a little sad I cost us boss rush. There was no reason to lose it. Um, or to, to even put it to chance, but... Oh, it was a freaking goat head! Hey man, what's up? I don't really want to fight Krampus, but I'd love some free items right now. Okay. You know, I, I thought we were friends and you respected my opinion, but clearly not. So that's, that's fine, don't even sweat it. At least you gave me a lump of coal. And those shots, yeah, they're traveling. They're getting larger. Now this run is not so bad. Might as well pop this. Um, we have a Degas rune, and it exists pretty much exclusively for us to, you know, break a curse. Yeah, okay, the damage is real now. Um, I would say we probably have a slightly better than outside chance to become Guppy as a result of the... Uh, as a result of the goat head and the fact that we're starting with one item. Doesn't doesn't hurt that we can uh, 
basically one-hit enemies with a single charge, take them out of the situation. Thanks to Polyphemus, which was uh, certainly the most meaningful item we picked up on this run so far. Unless you're like an enormous fan of $3 bill, which has helped us out. The argument that it, is, it has saved us might be a little bit specious, but... Uh, Certainly, uh, you know, on rooms like this, I'm a big fan. By the way, I wouldn't mind big fan. Take us a little closer to Beelzebub, maybe. Can always use more flies. I must be missing something semi-obvious about why occasionally I'm much faster. Like, does some tier effects come with a speed upgrade, maybe, that could be accounting for this? There's a guppy's head. Finally, we have a suitable replacement for D4. And, you know... Anytime we enter a room and leave permanently stronger, I'm going to be pretty stoked about how that, that's going to look on our resume moving forward. That is a champion eyeball. Little scary. Didn't, I thought that might have been a tinted rock. It was hard to tell because uh, it's kind of buried in the center there. All right. Great time for another guppy item. Conquest again. Well, I guess we're lucky in the sense that we don't really have anything from Conquest we want. Very unlucky in the sense that Betrayal is garbage, but, uh... Okay, down to the next floor, having been made better by getting the Guppy item. And on Scar Scarred Womb 2, there is no curse. So we're safe there. Let's leave and re-enter. Just in case there was a troll bomb. Uh, we should hold on to Telepills. Telepills is a kind of a... Half decent get out of jail free card if we take damage. All right, this did not give us any keys or a guppy item, which I guess it, it would be unlikely to give us a guppy item out of a red chest right now, considering we already have guppy's head. But um, I'm going to not open more golden chests until we get like at least five keys. This could conceivably be the way to go to get to the boss fight. I will bomb my way into the second secret room as well. Don't get your hopes up about fighting Hush on this one, by the way. This is a nasty room. Made it out, though. Awaz. Onsus. Hagalaz. Algiz. Onsus. Well, might as well do that. I guess we'll... The Algiz rune is a better and more reliable get-out-of-jail-free card if we end up taking damage early on a room uh, than a Telepills is. Had to check. Um, we don't want to come into this room... We don't want to use this room yet. We'll wait until we see what the deal with the devil has. Mom's not going to drop anything, but... Mom's heart, I should say, is not going to drop anything. But we'll see what the deal with the devil has. Chariot is also pretty good. Do we want to use... Nah, I think we'd rather have Algiz ready for the boss fight. Even if it means not being able to use Chariot, honestly. It's good. Like, the Chariot is good, but Algiz giving us, like, guaranteed invincibility is so much better. Wait, okay, I don't know what we did to kill them instantly, but that's fine. Definitely take Abaddon. Uh, which is going to give us nice uh, one point something damage up, I think. And then come back in here, we're going to reroll Demon Baby into something that's hopefully more useful for us. I, I mean, sometimes it might not reroll the item that's actually on the deal with the devil. I can't remember if it, if it has jurisdiction there. It does not have jurisdiction there. Shouldn't have opened it, but it worked out. Okay, free demon, baby. Uh, let's go up to the cathedral. I'm getting increasingly confident this is going to be yet another lost victory. But let's keep our heads about us here. No curse is awesome. Red chests. Stone chests, I think, are worth fighting for. And if we fuck it up, you know, we'll just we'll pop algas here. I'd really rather not, but it's super worth it for Cricket's Head. And our flies are doing amazing work here. Yeah, um... Don't take my comments out of context on this run, by the way. I did say this is one of the worst lost runs we've had that has made it this far. That was then. This is now. Now we're... Yeah, we got five keys. Give it a shot. Um, we've got, uh, you know, Polyphemus. Really good value out of money equals power. Um, one away from becoming Guppy. We got Guppy's head, which is being really effective for us. Like, we've, we've improved ourselves. Abaddon helped out a ton. Lump of Coal is a really nice item. Uh, this, this has gotten good. It started... Uh, and, and for a long time maintained a certain level of mediocrity, but now it's, uh, it's really holding it down. 
this was the wrong way to go. Uh, I can see forever is is good. Yeah, this is certainly not bad. I'm gonna imagine that this probably loops around in a direction that we can be proud of. We do want that key. Go back for that key. One of the principal strengths we have that is a little bit non-traditional is the fact that our tier hitbox is so large that you know we hit multiple enemies with our with our shots uh, at the same time. And if the if they're part of like the killing blow, it also doesn't destroy the shot because of the fact that we have Polyphemus. Should go back for the money. Normally I wouldn't, but we do have money equals power, and on a lost run, you never know if that extra, you know, 0.12 damage is actually going to make the, the difference here. You know what? Bomb time. Just throw down the bombs, who cares? Please. 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 It doesn't explode. Don't explode in my face. I, that's all I ask. A nickel. Okay, that's another 0.2 damage. We've actually improved it a lot on this floor. And you're gonna give me a strength card, which is uh, actually super not bad. But Algiz is more valuable. I was gonna say as much as I hate to say it, but I don't hate to say it. I love to say it. Having an Algiz rune is a huge boon for us right now. Uh, we're not gonna get a deal with the devil, but we're blowing this guy up because I don't want to spend any of our money, aka our damage stat. Wow! Uh, we are probably completely in the clear. The fact that we could kill Isaac without even having to fire a shot is, uh, is pretty solid. Curse of Darkness, annoying at worst. Uh, our items, I mean, Little Brim's good. Kidney Stone is good. Everything else, uh, is, is fairly garbage here, so... Not stoked about that. Did I take damage early here? I don't think so. <laughs> but do you want to risk it? Yeah, I think I do, but... Only because we got great range and we can stay away from these guys the whole time. Okay, I don't know what you're giving me, but, you know, I would love Shoop to Whoop. Just a key? I'm just a key and life is a nightmare. I'm just a key and I know there's a lock there. Nobody stares as I'm inserted in another object that's next to me. That's a song from the perspective of, of being a key. Got a little fucked up, though. I don't care about notched axe in the least. Thank you, uh, Halo of Flies, for blocking that shot. Halo of Flies doesn't catch it, Infamy catches it. Onk means that this run is now unlosable. We may die and have to respawn as Blue Baby, but that would be our second death, because our first death we have a 1-up for. Um... But we, we could win as Blue Baby, which I, I wouldn't consider a lost win, but we'd consider definitely not a loss. But I'm pretty sure that we're like totally in the clear here, especially if we just pop Algiz immediately. Boom, there's Algiz. Uh, another lost win. But I'm not cocky about it. That one got close a couple of times, especially against Mask of Infamy. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.